The gravitational potential energy of a mass point is U equals mgh, but let's use coordinate y rather than h, then U equals mgy. If the mass is differential in size dm, then its gravitational potential energy is differential in size du equals gy dm. A vertically oriented bar of length L consists of many mass points, and each is lifted to a different height. It takes less work to lift a differential piece of mass to y equals L over 5 than to y equals 0.9L. What is the total potential energy of a vertically oriented bar of length L? The bar consists of many mass points. The bar has linear mass density lambda equals by squared in kilograms per meter. B is a constant. So the mass of a piece of bar of length dy is dm equals lambda dy equals by squared dy in kilograms. We do work to lift a piece of mass to this height and a heavier piece of mass to this height and a yet heavier piece of mass to this height. The total gravitational energy stored in the raised bar is found by adding up all the little pieces of energy, du, which vary in magnitude. We have u is the integral of du equals gy dm. Replacing dm, we get g times the integral of by cubed dy which gives b g l to the fourth over four. What is the total mass of the bar? We add up the little pieces of mass dm and have the total mass big M equals the integral of little dm equals lambda dy equals b y squared dy equals b l cubed over three which gives B equals 3M over L cubed, and that makes the total potential energy U equals 3 quarter MGL. We measure the total mass big M and the length of the bar L to calculate B and U.